that is where we will start. So uh, just kind of, you know, overview of Amazon. The goal of Amazon is to be Earth's most customer centric company. And so our customer is at the heart of everything we do. Uh, whether that customer is, you know, obviously the person buying shipping packages or, you know, for recruiting, my customer is is you all and and our and our candidates and and trying to provide you a good experience and and hopefully uh, through that good experience you decide to join us here at Amazon. So that kind of goes throughout the organization, but that's generally the ultimate goal is to be the most customer centric company and uh, provide you know the best uh, the best service at the lowest prices. And then, so now uh, the Amazon leadership principles, so kind of going down from customer centric is these Amazon leadership principles. This basically is at the heart of everything we do at Amazon on a daily basis. And these are especially something that you're going to want to familiarize yourself with if you're applying to a position at Amazon, whether that's incorporating them or examples that kind of speak to these things in your resume. And especially during the interview process, because these are actually things that we test on. So just to give you a little bit of insight into the recruiting process, interviewers are given a leadership principle to test for, and they actually ask certain questions based off of the leadership principle. And then they say kind of whether how you did within that leadership principle based off the examples you give. So definitely, if you're interested in Amazon, got to got to review the leadership principles. And there's like, there's further explanations on the website. So, you know, here we just have kind of the title of the leadership principle, but, uh, but it's explained further on the website. And that's definitely something uh, that uh, that a recruiter or someone can help you with and uh, can help you to progress in the interview process. So here's a little bit about Amazon as far as, you know, all the different orgs. I mean, I'm sure we all know Amazon is huge. (laughs) It is huge. Um, So kind of within that, there's all these different organizations. And, you know, so I'm within, you know, the overall operations network. So that's the fulfillment centers and the the sorting centers and, and all those kind of like shipping, shipping lanes. And then within that, I'm specifically in the university lane, recruiting uh, future or uh, recent graduates. And then within that, it's for me, it's veterans to specifically entry level area manager positions. So I'm just w- one recruiter of many recruiters for many organizations. And, and, and I just like to kind of like show this slide so you all can see some of the different orgs and, and uh, see, you know, not just how big Amazon is, but how much opportunity there is within Amazon. You know, myself, I've worked three different jobs in two years. So there's all sorts of areas to be able to kind of move and, and, and find what works best for you and where you're going to be able to contribute and progress in your career within the company. So another part of Amazon are affinity groups. Again, Amazon is huge, so there are many of these as well. <laughs> so uh, we have many uh, affinity groups, and it's a way to you know stay connected, uh, promote diversity within within the company, and just where you know make everybody feel comfortable and feel like they can be themselves within Amazon and Amazon culture. So it's it's definitely a big thing within Amazon. It's grown a lot in recent years. Uh, and specifically to military, we have a Warriors at, which is a, a military affinity group within Amazon. And unfortunately not not recently, but prior to the pandemic, you know, we would hold happy hours and events and things like that, um, where uh, where veterans can kind of connect through Amazon. And just kind of you know be able to share share their experiences and and just kind of grow their culture uh, within the company. So um, yeah, tons of different affinity groups, uh, and it's you know something for everybody basically within within the space. So now I'm going to kind of go a little bit deeper into uh, operations. Operations is at the heart of Amazon. It's you know it's it's everything. It's how Amazon basically started, and now you know Amazon does other things outside of operations, but it, you know it started as a company selling and shipping books and, you know, building the logistics network from there. So, so yeah, that, and that is where, where I recruit for is within the operations network. And so it's really, it's really the lifeblood of the company. And there's you know, now, you know, the logistics network has grown to, uh, you know, in a huge size, just not just by number of employees, but also by number of, of fulfillment centers, rotation centers, and, and different things of that nature. So, yeah, it's extremely important. It's it's really is, you know, the building, you know, some of the building blocks of the company. 
So now to go a little bit more into our fulfillment centers and kind of we're going to talk a little bit about the different uh, types of buildings within the operations network. So a fulfillment center is a massive 24-7 operating, you know, pretty much all the time. It has several departments and uh, and buildings. And within that, you know, it's it's kind of, there's it got the kind of the specific areas and, and the different puzzle pieces, but everything's in a, you know, in a very specific area to, you know, promote efficiency, basically. And that, that's the biggest thing within the operations network. The more efficient our network is, the more Amazon can, you know, offer lower prices to the customers and, again, you know, ultimately achieve that goal of being Earth's most customer-centric company. So FCs are, are generally equipped to perform a high variety of tasks, including, you know, receiving inventory, shipping packages, and sending inventory to other FCs. So, you know, there's certain places where it sends stuff directly to customers. And then there's some buildings that are just there to essentially receive and then send to other buildings. Um, that's how vast kind of the network is so here's some some kind of different site types we got you know the filming centers you know i just kind of gave the general overview talked about that um there's amazon robotic centers so those are essentially fulfillment centers but they have the uh, the scout robots there that help out with you know sorting and and doing some of the work so that's you know of interest some people that are that are into the robotic side of things cross docks uh they help maximize the efficiency for inbound and outbound operations by applying a hub and spoke. So that's kind of what I what I was talking about, um, how some centers just ship to other centers. They don't, they don't necessarily connect directly to the customer. And then sort centers, the, those can be separate or they can be uh, a separate area within another fulfillment center. And that is kind of more cus customer oriented. So those are a little smaller because uh, that's kind of more focused on uh, later in the process, kind of that last mile of getting packages to the customer. And then, uh, you know, we got delivery stations, uh, again, kind of just going down that operations line. And then Amazon Pharmacy, the, uh, Amazon has been kind of expanding into the healthcare space uh, with PillPack, Amazon Pharmacy, and, and different healthcare initiatives. So that's kind of a, a newer end of the operations network. And then Fresh Pantry, that's kind of more that prime direct, you know, grocery delivery. Uh, which is which is a huge thing, uh, especially you know during the pandemic that grew a lot when people were ordering their groceries. And then we got our Tom Transportation uh, Operations Management Network, global specialty uh, fulfillment, and so that's going to be like packages, maybe oblong packages or large packages, or you know the global specialty is is kind of things that don't fit into like a normal little box that are a little more challenging or maybe require a little bit different uh, logistics. And then our Amazon Air. Which I, uh, which I actually used to work for Amazon Prime Air, but that's definitely a big growing network uh, within that. You know, that's obviously flying packages and stuff like that around, and and those different air initiatives, and then also the uh, the drone delivery that Amazon is is working on. I got to tour the facility actually when I was working for that side of the business, and it's uh it's pretty cool. I look for I look forward to that uh, becoming a more widespread thing when we can get the drones going. Okay. So now to kind of going more into specifics of, of roles and, and what I recruit for, um, this is kind of the general overview of our university roles uh, for recent and upcoming graduates. Uh, so we have uh, full-time roles, area manager, that's the one that I recruit for. And then there's other ones, including workplace health and safety, human resources, and loss prevention. So depending on your degree and your experience, uh, one of those other areas may interest you. And then for people that, you know, that are have their graduation date a little further out and are, are planning to be in school a little while longer, we also offer internships in our operations network. Uh, we have junior and sophomore internships that are, you know, they kind of are for similar, similar roles to the full-time roles, but obviously they're internships. So this is kind of just some bullet points about um, the area manager position specifically. So you lead and, and manage uh, 50 to 200 Amazon associates. So those are the, the people, you know, packing and, and sorting and, and working with the packages. Uh, so some of your main kind of job functions are uh, efficiency uh, and trying to, you know, do process improvement to improve efficiency. And then also just you know, helping, supporting the employees, making sure, you know, that, that they're motivated, that they're in, in good spirits and, and helping them out whenever they need it. Uh, and then probably the, the biggest number one thing uh, that an area manager does is ensure the safety 
of the employees in the fulfillment center. Safety is number one at Amazon. They start every day with a little meeting and a safety tip to help people because um, that's the biggest thing is we don't want we don't want any accidents or issues within the center. So this kind of gives you an outline of, of what the shifts you can expect might look like. So if you go through the recruiting process for the area manager position, you don't know your shift right away. That's something that gets determined later after you've been hired um, by the site. But this is how shifts kind of break down. There are four, um, like 10 hour days. And then you can work front half or back half of the week and then nights or days. So, you know, nights is, is going to be overnight and then days going to kind of be in that um, 7 a.m. to 5.30 p.m. range. And so they, they can vary, but you, so essentially before you start, you get a shift. But that, that can vary depending on the needs of the site. And then sometimes there can be like overtimes and things of that nature. The holiday season is obviously very busy. So there's some kind of variance within that. But this is kind of the general structure uh, of how shifts work within the fulfillment centers. So kind of good to go into the recruiting process. The, the role I recruit for is nationwide. So the, area, the university area manager position is we have... Like I said, like we have centers all over the country. So we recruit for all over the country. We don't recruit... Like you're not applying for a specific job in at a specific location. You're applying for the area manager job at any location. Now, within that, we do realize that uh, not everybody wants to relocate and they don't want it completely up in the air to to you know go wherever Amazon randomly decides to put you. So it's it's not like a random placement like that. What we do is during the inter- interview uh, process, we have you say uh, the locations that you would like to be placed at, and then we. I mean, we want you to accept the job because <laughs> we want you to work at Amazon. So then from there, we, we do our best to place you at your top preference. Usually like within your top few preferences for sure, we'll be able to get you in one of those desired locations. Um, I will say, particularly for student veterans in the military, we've kind of got our locations based off of the demand that we've seen from veterans and, and where they kind of most often either are or want to live. So we actually have most of our openings are kind of in are in our three most popular states are Florida, Texas, and California. So we have uh, most of our openings in those states, and but we also have openings in in other areas as well. But we try to do our best to allocate our demand and our, the location of our jobs to places that uh, that are going to better fit our student veteran community. And so, sorry, I kind of went off on a thing there, but uh, but. Uh, to go into the application process, essentially, so you, you apply online, we review your application. The application also has an assessment component to it. So when you apply, your application is not complete until you complete uh, an assessment. It's like 20, 30 minute assessment. And so we review that. Uh, if the application resume looks good and you pass the assessment, then you would move on from there to an interview event. So uh, you would schedule that with the RC, recruiting coordinator, sorry. Um, and then the recruiting coordinator would place you in an interview event uh, on a specific day where you would do a uh, you would do two 45 minute interviews with uh, current Amazonians that, you know, operations managers and area managers that that are doing the job in the operations network. And for the for the interview process, Amazon asks like a lot of times we ask behavioral based interview questions. So along the lines of tell me about a time when you know, and they'll give you a situation like, tell me about a time you went above and beyond for a customer. And then you would give, you know, your, your example from there. Uh, the, the way that we ask people to do that is the star method. So that situation, like setting the scene, the scope and scale of what was going on, the task you had to complete, the action that you specifically took. So we like to people say, I, not my team did this, I did this, your specific action. And then the result of those action and then wherever possible, we encourage people to use data and metrics. So, uh, you know, I increased efficiency by this percentage, or even, you know, I solicited feedback from a customer or stakeholder, and this is what they told me, you know, maybe this is what I would do differently, things like that. But uh, the, the, the interview process can be kind of strenuous, but it's, uh, it's only two 45 minute interviews for this role. And then you go forward from there. If you are inclined to move forward, then that's when we do the placement and offer process. Uh, so you'll receive a formal offer, you'll get your placement. 
as to as to your location and everything prior to accepting. Uh, if everything checks out, looks good, hopefully you accept. And then from there, you would be onboarding documents and eventually starting. We have start dates. Our start dates are for 2022. So anywhere from January through early September 2022 is, is where we have our start dates. And so here's uh, some things about kind of why Amazon, but also why, um, you know, kind of specific to the military and veteran space. So the Amazon military recruiting team is, you know, it's, it's unique and it's made up of mostly veterans, veteran spouses. Um, that's why we have a separate recruiting team for military because uh, we get our interviewers. Our interviewers are mostly, if not all former military. So we really try to create that connection and, and we, want, uh, we want people that are going to be able to better understand your experience when, when you're interviewing with us. And, and kind of on top of that, in, Amazon's made a huge commitment to hire veterans. Amazon is one of the number one hires of veterans in the U.S. Uh, so we, they, we made a commitment in 2016 to hire 25,000 veterans and military spouses. I, I, I know we have way, way surpassed that. And I, it's over a hundred thousand, um, as far, as far as I, I know, I don't know the exact number, but I was told it's, it's over a hundred thousand. So that number just keeps going up. And, you know, that part of that is to, you know, obviously to support our veterans and, and, and kind of do the right thing and help people out. But I mean, I'm going to be totally honest. It's been a great thing for Amazon as well. Um, we found that our student veterans actually promote faster than the average person coming into the area manager position. So not only is it great for our veterans, but it's great for the company because we get people that promote faster, they perform at a high level, and also they tend to stay longer with us here at Amazon. So it, it, it's really a, a mutually beneficial uh, initiative, and it's been great uh, to be able to support that. So here's a couple of like websites, links, uh, and things to be able to uh, to check out at Amazon. There's all sorts of information on the website. Um, you know, there's uh, there's interview tips uh, that are that are really helpful to you know to prepare for interviews, uh, and all sorts of other information about the job and and the operations network. Uh, and also, if you're interested, please feel free to connect with. Uh, you can connect with Amazon on these, or you know, especially if you're interested in the role or anything else, uh, you can connect with me on LinkedIn. Uh, my name is David Franklin. Uh, I'm spend, as a recruiter, I spend a lot of time on LinkedIn. So <laughs> if you send me a message, I'll probably get back to you pretty quickly. Mm-hmm.